Yes. This is Radio Freedom. What happened to Rambo? I put him away. And I ran out of ammo. <laughs> oh, that's what a death clock gauntlet looks like? Nice. It does make zero sense to me that a It's okay. You just need to tell me what happened. They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that kind of money. Don't worry. I'll get her back. We asked the Miniman for help, but I didn't really think anyone would come. Just bring her back safe, okay? Oh, by the way, this is Ten Pines Bluff. I built a junk wall around the whole thing and put two gates up. Got a spotlight with some shotgun turrets and guarding that one. And I forget what I got guarding this one. Yeah, just a heavy, a heavy there and another heavy there. Oh, three heavies. There's three heavies here. Where? At Medford Memorial? Oh. If you turn off the Minuteman radio station, it'll stop giving you random quests. No, I, I like it. I haven't done them, so. And it it generally leads you to an area that you haven't cleared out before, so. That's kind of nice. It's kind of a way to explore without, like, just exploring. You know what I mean? Would it be possible to speak off the record for a moment? Anything for you, baby. Off the record. That's not like you, Dance. Which is why this is going to be difficult to say. So, I'd appreciate it if you bear with me. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Uh, I'll talk to you in a bit there, bud. Dance is dead. <laughs> Call bullshit on you living through that. Hey, need something? Excuse me, Paladin Dance. There is still that off the record matter I'd like to discuss. You have time now. Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so. I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. He 
got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was the way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. Rivet City. It must be post-war because I've never heard of it. You're right. It was a settlement built inside the remains of a beached aircraft carrier. One of the safest places to live in the capital wasteland until the Brotherhood arrived. It was the perfect location for me to try my hand at being a merchant. I have a hard time picturing you as anything but a soldier. Clearly, I was ignoring my calling. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to the super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. We should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. You did the right thing. It's what I was taught. I don't know if it was right. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. It would never be that way with me. I care about you too much to let that happen. I... I didn't know you felt that strongly about our... Well, about us. I'm... Sorry if I seem confused. You, you've certainly given me something to think about. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. <laughs> so there was a synth and some super mutants. Why are the super mutants always in hospitals? Like every fucking time. <clears throat> Let's turn that off for a while. That's what a touchdown is? That's how you get that achievement? You let a suicide bomber get to you?
know what you're talking about, hon. Really? You were taking cover behind me. I like it because it's like one shot, one kill. What, Skittles? <laughs> uh, could, you, could you just give me a blanket? Oh, I'm fine without the... Yeah, I'm good without it because I clearly don't need cold drink. little man! Uh oh. Don't be a suicider. I'm putting a blanket on. Give me a sec. Oh. Bucky. Tickled him. Huh. Dance, you can't fucking see him because you're fucking laser. Switchblade. Crystal liquor decant? Okay, I'm gonna climb to the top of this thing. And then we'll work our way down. Oh, projectron. <sighs> Did I just click Wayne twice? Already came out this way.
hear something. Someone there. That guy can take a bullet. Jesus. Deathclaw hand. Surprised the Supermans were able to kill a Deathclaw. Fusion cores can be ejected from power armor like devastating grenades. And fusion cores last twice as long. That's the whole reason why I went down this tree. So I could stay in power armor forever. I did like the nerd rage one. At the very least, it's a fail safe so that I know when I've. You know, when I have low health. <laughs> um. I don't, I don't really need that perk. The terminal one I'd still like. And, uh. Same one with the friend. That way they do more damage. I don't know, I might go strength because I, I really want to... To get the strong back one. I 
Yeah, I'll throw a point in strength. All of my equipment, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can hold that, too. Give dance your heavy weapons and just get them. F uh, I like the synthetic armor. Uh, that's the best in my opinion. Combat armor is a healthy balance of the two. Security's too tight. God damn, I just leveled. I could have gone with the expert terminal. Accidentally, let me change that. waste ammo. There we go. I do certainly like the looks of the combat armor, though. I mean, this... Oh, can I can't use this because we're technically in combat. I don't know I technically need liquid nitrogen right now, but...
needs it. Recoil compensated advanced shotgun. I'm not expecting that in a tool case. Might as well hop down here. Didn't I kill the legendary one right here? Nocturnal. Interesting. It's like the third Deathclaw hand I've seen. Oh, what's up here? Clearly a broken elevator. Just making sure I haven't missed anything. Surgical scalpel with a bunch of teddy bears. To the best of my knowledge, liquid nitrogen only gives you steel and weighs five pounds. It weighs five pounds and it gives you two steel. Yeah. That is utterly worthless. Why would they do that? Two steel? That's, I can get a steel like from a tin can for uh for that kind of price. Okay. That's retarded. Oh. What's that? Where Oh, it's below me. I'm like, where's there another fucking super mutant? Kind of hoping there would be like some magazines in here. It is a hospital. You expect all the good shit to be in hospitals. Gotta be a good fight. That's bullshit. I totally hit him in the head. mag from the surgical area? I don't think so. I... I don't know what you're talking about, so probably not. Squirrel bitties. Mm. Oh, they're... Apparently human was on the menu. Were they like 
cooking the meat in a giant cauldron. On the second door behind the eye socket. Ooh, Ooh blood pack. Is that like the seasoning? Tibia. I do not want no tibia. Plastic fork. I think we already covered everything over here. Oh no, no we did not. Yes. I've heard of breaching a door. This is a lot quieter. Over here. All right. Wait there. Right. When did I pick up a board? I didn't mean to pick that up. Paladin Dance can't carry anymore. But Dance, you're in power armor. I don't believe you. Roger. Holding position. Come on. I'm on it. Settler, what are you doing exploring? So you get yourself kidnapped in the first place. Jesus Christ, this hospital's pretty fucking large. Has a lot of dead bodies. <laughs> I already looked in here, didn't I? Yep. Is it second floor behind the master lock? that was. Are you sure it's the second floor? Hey, Tanker. Ooh, a syringer rifle. We don't have one of those. He 
You said there was a book, but... I'm just not seeing it. There's that expert uh, panel door that I haven't opened yet because I'm not, I don't have high enough, uh, science, or hacking, rather. That's like over here, yeah. even see a book in there. Yeah, but the, the book locations aren't random. That much I know. Well, we'll just call it, because clearly I cannot, I cannot find it. Every issue of Grognak. Collect adds a rank in the Barbarian Park. <laughs> I think that's true with most things, though. Uh, Meyer lurks. Their faces are vulnerable. Really? I'm pretty sure everyone's faces is vulnerable. Like, show me someone that has, like, an arm. Yeah, see, look, it's cleared, so I must, uh... Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Sleeping in bed with your romantic companion is near... Well, nearly... Lover's Embrace Park. <sighs> Everyone loves that. I got Piper to the point where she'll have sexy time with me. I don't think we've met yet. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity. So, is there anything you need me to get started on? Yeah, let me show you. Go ahead. Assigned to potato plant. Okay. Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. I don't know how to thank you for that rescue you pulled off. Just remember that this is all thanks to the Minutemen. We know. That's why we support the Minutemen. You can always count on us to help out down the road. You hear about that farm run by Google? That's something. 